Well, not to the kind of cleanup work that you would see maybe a paid crew do. This time it's being handled by two teens. It's another example of what's right in our community. News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live. John, you're in one area that was trashed a couple of days ago, but it's much cleaner now. We're on the lower San Marcos Pass area. They call this the bridge to nowhere. It's the kind of work that you would see professional public works crews or cleanup crews do, but two teens have decided to spend their summer with grabbers like this and to clean up a lot of trash and help their community along the way. 16 year old twin brothers Noah and Ramon Wong from Summerlin are making a clean sweep of their summer vacation. They're volunteering to pick up trash just about everywhere you can think of. We've been pretty much all over Santa Barbara and Galita and Comteria. This started out as an extra credit project at Santa Barbara High where they attend by volunteering to help Channel Keeper with its beach and creek cleanup efforts. Go wherever you want and pick up trash wherever you want and then just report back to us the hours, the number of bags you got. The teens are now into their 40th day, well beyond the credit requirement. Uh, on average, we do six hours. We sometimes go to eight hours or nine hours if we feel like it or if there's enough trash to clean up. Wearing long sleeve shirts, long pants, gloves and using both grabbers and their hands, they're all in. We found them below the San Marcos Pass on a dead end that's a popular hangout. You got to go pretty deep into the grass sometimes, don't you? Yeah, we sometimes go way off the trail to get like a Gatorade bottle or something. The common items we get are probably cigarette, um, cigarettes, uh, beer bottles, plastic bottles, and microplastics. Some of these bags were picked up on day one by the Wong brothers. We're now up to day number two, and with my little contribution, I've got a lot more. The most egregious spot was a Montecito beach area. Uh, for Miramar Beach, we got around like nine bags a day and we worked there for four days straight. We we're assuming that people will just hold parties there and they just throw the trash across the seawall and just leave it there. This effort caught the eye of the San Marcos Preserve Group and a passing park ranger who said more trash cans were being added. So far, they've logged 261 hours with 170 bags of trash weighing over a thousand pounds and they put in over 250 miles. The boys go out seven days a week. We're cleaning up and it doesn't feel that bad to clean up. It feels satisfying and it's something we want to do. So it's definitely not um, something we want to stop doing. I really enjoy helping out other people. So when I help out the community, I myself, I'm happy. Now I asked the boys where they're going to be going tomorrow. They were just out here. They put in a long day. They said they haven't decided yet. But what we do know, using grabbers like this, which you can get at a local hardware store, this is mine, they picked up 21 bags of trash just at this location alone. Reporting live from Lower San Marcos Pass, I'm News Channel reporter John Palminteri. Great stuff, John. Thank you. Helping others makes them happy. What a great statement that is there. Still ahead, a big cat sighting on the south coast.